Greetings! I'm Birch. In this video, we're going to be taking this dry locust wood blank and making it into a finished bowl. So with that, let's get to it.
at this point, I'm starting to get sort of close to the finished wall thickness, but after measuring, this part of the bowl, right in between here, is a little thick, and so I've got to feather that because I don't want to cut into the bottom anymore. That's about the right thickness, but I've got to get just a little bit right here. Just a little more right down there. For me, one of the really challenging things with making a video about making a bowl is that a huge amount of what I do when I make a bowl is done by feel, and you simply can't see that, and there's almost no way to put that on video and not have it be boring. I mean, to have me constantly doing this, most people don't want to watch that. It doesn't look like anything, but I'm getting an awful lot of information from that. Mainly that I'm going to have a lot of work to do right down here. That's just part of the process, especially since it's been a little while since I've made a bowl. Now that I've completed all the sanding on this bowl here, on the inside and on most of the outside except for the very bottom, I'm going to take the whole thing, the chuck, the bowl, everything, starting from about basically right here, I'm going to take that off, mount it on the live center using this adapter, then I'm going to take this drum chuck for vacuuming and I'm going to put it over here. Now off camera on this side is another adapter that allows me to pull a vacuum on that. That will actually hold the bowl to the drum chuck so I can work all the way across the bottom and not have any sort of center mark or blemish. Thank you. 
right, now I have shut the vacuum off. And let's let the air back in. There we have it, folks. A fantastic finished bowl. What's left is to apply a finish and to use a wood burner to get my maker's mark into the bottom. Oh, this looks so good already. Now, we'll be back tomorrow, and I'll put the mark on the bottom. All right, it's, it's been about a day, so let's get this wiped down. Well, there we go. Wiped down and ready to have the maker's mark and serial number put on the bottom. Well, there we have it, folks, from roughed out bowl blank to this gorgeous finished bowl. I just I wish there was some way via video that I could tell you just how smooth and wonderful this bowl feels. But unfortunately, you'll have to take my word for it. If you look at the bottom, I've got the maker's mark, my web address, four letter code that indicates the finish and the individual serial number for this bowl. I thoroughly document all of my bowls. So that in the future, if for any reason it needs to be verified as being my work, it can be identified as such without any problems. Thank you for hanging out with me for the entire video. We got some wood turning done. If you could, please subscribe to my channel or watch another video. Both those things help my channel grow and I do appreciate them. So goodbye for now. Thanks again. And I'll see you in another video.